Hello friends, how are you? My name is Ari Ferger and today I'm going to talk about the rune Hurus. Now, if you have seen the previous video, you already know how this is going to be. So, with no more delay, let's go straight to business. Hurus, the rune, literally means Horrocks, which were these prehistoric European bulls, great magnificent wild creatures hunted down till extinction. So, therefore, the rune is connected with physical strength, but also with life force and courage, physical health, endurance and vigor and healing. And in psychological terms, it's connected with determination and persistence and also freedom and courage, of course, as I have mentioned, and one's free will and independence. This rune was primarily connected with the male gender because of physical strength, vitality, stamina, virality and the uncontrollable rage and the warrior spirit. You have to take in mind that the runes date back to a time when in most societies men were the hunters, the warriors and they were the ones to do all the works that required physical strength. So this rune is also connected with insensitivity and brutality. But just like the pagan traditions, the runes shape themselves to the new realities of the world. And fortunately, we live in an era that there isn't, there is nothing a man can do that a woman can't either. Hashtag feminism. But the main connections of this rune are with physical strength, health, courage and endurance. Now the mythology around this rune. It's quite possible that in its origins the, the first rune from the previous video, Feu, and this rune, Hurus, represent a primordial pair. Two polarities that together create life. So one rune, Feu, represents Audumbla and the domesticated cattle, while Urus represents the Horrocks, the, these wild bovine creatures. One rune represents the female gender and the other the male gender. So one represents this civilized and almost domesticated aspect of ourselves, while the other one represents our most wild nature. So the two runes are very much connected. So there may have once been a mythological equivalent to the mother goddess, represented by a wild bull totem. But unfortunately that knowledge is lost to us. This rune is connected to the god Thur, the thunder god, the champion of the deities of Housegard, and the sworn enemy to the forces of chaos. However, in uncontrollable rage, he unleashes storms, he unleashes chaotic power even. So, he completely loses control of his true nature. He unleashes power without measuring the consequences of it. He becomes the very thing that he fights against. My point is, this rune indicates that it is connected to the unconscious power that we create by shaping the energies of this rune. So we must be guided wisely when working with this rune, so not to let ourselves be consumed by our wild instincts. Now divination work with this rune. Let's start with its upright meaning. Life's persistence and its endless resourcefulness uh, in the tasks that we must perform to, in order to survive are implied within Hurus. Thus, it is a rune of manifestation, regeneration and, of course, endurance. Very powerful energies are at work when this rune appears in a rune reading. But it is a good omen if you require vitality and life force. However, thread lightly when you deal with such powerful forces. Be cautious, or the wild nature of this rune 
and indeed your own wild nature might take over your senses and you end up regretting having chosen to work or to use the powerful energies of this rune. After all, this is the rune of free will. So it's your own choice to use or not the power of this rune, the power that is given or presented to you. And you will know when that power lies before you. Take this metaphor, for instance, that I've just made up. It's fairly easy to provoke a bull, but it's not that simple to stop it once you have provoked it into, into its limits. This rune points out that um, a phase in your life has come to an end and a new one will begin. Has to, because the life you have been living might not be the best to you. So you must force an end and force a new beginning. This is a rune of change and positive growth. So it, it might take you into the wildest aspects of yourself and you both have to learn and to live with your own reality. So put aside the child in you and let the adult come forth to deal with the consequences. As I have said in the beginning of this video, this rune Horus literally means Aurochs. And the Aurochs were never domesticated, no matter how much we have tried until we were the cause of its extinction. So you must overcome your wild nature before it consumes you. It will never go away, but you have to learn how to control it before it controls you. This rune is associated with courage, great strength and endurance. So this means that eventually you will overcome any obstacle. But it won't be easy, so use your intelligence to earnest the power of Horus wisely. And finally, this rune is very good for healing and to give strength to those who have been ill and are in need of a quick recovery. Now let's go for its inverted meaning and still for divination works. Weakness and physical or mental fatigue are indicated when Horus appears inverted in a rune reading. There may have been an underlying health problem or perhaps it's time for a checkup a thorough review on your lifestyle. This rune is warning you that there is something wrong with your health. Be attentive or you might lose a great deal, failing to take advantage of a positive moment in your life. This rune will give you some clues, but it will never tell you what it is. So be very attentive because powerful forces may wrench against you. Your own power might be even used against you. Now, bind runes, creating unique symbols by connecting different runes. When using Hurus with other runes, it will reinforce the power of those runes. It will bring out the power in which a specific rune is more concerned with. Every rune is linked to specific powers, but in those powers, there is only one more powerful than all the rest. And what Hurus will do is to reinforce that power, just that one, and leave the weakest behind. But be careful not to, to let it control you and not to be consumed by that power. So that said, friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. All the links to my social media are down below at the description. Thank you so much for watching, see you on the next video of the next rune and talk for it all.